Yes, yes, it's another week with your chatterbox boys. It's your boy Dan right here, your boy Pianki, the brother Sean, and the ladies love Andre. Easy. This week we have got the movie Fatal Affair. It was fatal. I'm telling you, it was fatal for me anyway. And that gives you an idea of what I'm about to tell you on this film. It's streaming on Netflix, starring Nia Long as Ellie Warren. She's a married attorney who shares a brief sexually charged encounter with a friend from college. A guy named David, played by Omar Epps. We've seen them two together in a few films before. But then she finds out the, the old friend, Omar or David, is more dangerous than she realised. It was directed by Peter Sullivan and produced by Nia Long herself. I am really interested to hear what you guys have got to say. Ladies, love, tell them what you thought of this one. Okay, well, um, I've always loved Nia Long. Um, basically, I loved her from the moment I saw her in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, she was excellent in that. So this movie, like I was, I'm always biased with her. Um, but this movie, subjectively... It's not a good movie. It's a by the numbers movie. Um, it has the same beats as all those movies with, you know, the person that becomes obsessed with the other person and they love and they, you know, certain things happen that everyone knows that is going to happen. Very predictable. But you know what? I love those type of movies. I just do. Yeah, those movies are bread and butter for me. I can enjoy them. They're easy to watch. Like, I just have fun. Like, I know what's going to happen. I enjoy it. It's predictable. I say, oh, come on. But I like it. I enjoy it. So it was all fun for me. All fun for ladies' love. Sean, was it fun? Was it entertaining? Did it give you that spark? Like, damn, I need to watch that again. Or was you falling asleep by 20 minutes in? Well, Dan, I've got to be honest with you, mate. There wasn't much of a spark. This was more of a lark, mate. Because this film just had so many cliche moments. And to be honest, some of them sort of led, led you down a bit of a rabbit hole. Because... I mean, some of the stuff that happened in it was so far-fetched, it's unreal. I mean, similar to Andre, I'm a massive fan of Nia Long. Uh, I mean, she's just, you know, she's beautiful. But I've got to say, as beautiful as she is, to me, I feel like the script was, like, all wrong for me. I mean, if, if you're going to look at it and you compare it to some of the other stuff that's been done over the years, there's a film that came out of Michael Ely and Megan Good um, and Dennis Quaid um, called Intruder. And, I mean, you look at that film and you think that's the same genre. It, it's a thriller. You know, it's got actors in there that we know. Um, but I just feel like they did a much better job. So you've got, like, you know, Fatal Affair, which is hair, and then you've got Intruder, which is slightly higher. But... I mean, for me, they could have done a much better job. The script and how they wanted to sort of um, have the story unfold, I just feel like they were just jumping around a lot. A lot of things just didn't make sense. It, it just wouldn't happen in real life. And if it was a comedy, then maybe you'd have thought, all right, yeah, I, I can see why you've gone down that road. But in this one, I just felt like it was a bit too much. Do you know what? Wow, when I saw this film, I was like... If Omar Epps and Nia Long didn't want to do this movie, they should have said it was a bunch of nonsense. The whole film was garbage. I'm like, I have seen several films in that genre, and I'd say this was one of the worst. It it hit rock bottom. I'd say I couldn't recommend, and I definitely wouldn't watch again, even if someone paid me. But you know what? I have to say that it was a great hustle. Nia Long and Omar Epps walked away with a good pay salary for that nonsense. Wow, it is not looking good for this film. Honestly, I, uh, I, I started watching it and I thought to myself, am I going to make it to the end of this? Like, really? Because the story is done before. It's, it's heard so many times, man. And I'll tell you something else that's been done before. Nia Long and Omar Epps. A few of you guys have mentioned about them two working together. This is the first film since their last encounter in Alfie in 2004. What did you guys think of their performance? Was there, was there that chemistry? Did you feel it? There was chemistry, but it was hard to notice. The whole film was garbage. The best bit about the film was when they went in the bathroom and there was this romantic encounter. And I was like, all right, go on. Is something else going to happen? I want some more. And then that finished. And then it just went into the nonsense storyline. But, yeah, there was some chemistry, but, yeah. 
Ladies love, you know what chemistry looks like. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, I think that, you know, there was definitely um, chemistry. Um, I think it doesn't matter if the movie is good or not. You know, if there's chemistry or not. And there was chemistry. Like, if you think the movie was bad, if you don't think the movie was good, you know if two people have chemistry, they had chemistry, no matter what you think about the movie. Dave was carrying the film for the most part. But again, I, I just kept... Um thinking everything so far-fetched but I mean aside from the fact that I didn't really like the film I, I just got to admit yeah they did have um, good chemistry together like I, I honestly don't know uh what could have made this film better like Nia Long, Omar wait I could, I could tell you if they literally oh. finished it after they started it or you know what? If they had finished it just after that romantic encounter in the bathroom, if they'd finished it there, boom, I'd have given it much of a higher rating than fin um, continuing it for ninety odd minutes. Yeah, me, I love these type of movies. Like, it doesn't make a difference to me. Like, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, it's a good movie. These types of movies are bread and butter. They do the same thing. So there's Obsessed, two thousand and nine. Uh, Unforgettable 2017, The Perfect Guys 2015, The Intruder 2019, The Boy Next Door 2015, the list goes on, there's, there's loads more, right? Like, do you think this has in any way at all has brought something new to the silver screen? You know, has it, has it brought something that we haven't seen before? Like, no. was it worth them spending the money on this? Uh, uh, no, I'll answer the first question, they don't bring anything new. Was it worth doing? Yeah, because people enjoy that. So they know they're going to make money off it because people enjoy it. But in terms of anything new, no, because people enjoy the certain things that happen, the, the tropes, the ridiculousness, all these type of movies where the characters are psycho and somehow they get away with things that they wouldn't really get away with. But it's excellent for me personally and for other people that made it number one for Netflix. What are you saying, Sean? Do you think being number one on Netflix makes this a success is that a big deal during the lockdown and a lot more people watching movies you know what I, I think i would say it was a success for the simple fact that um irrespective of there being a lockdown people would have had to make that decision to actually click on it and watch it i mean if you think about it you could have probably switched it off after like the first 10 minutes if you didn't like it so I suppose there there is a massive um, fan base for that type of genre. You know what? These guys are totally wrong. Success. How can that be a success? Because it's number one on Netflix. If it's the only film that came out that week and everyone's at home, of course they're going to watch it. Remember, they didn't say number one at the box office. They said it's number one on Netflix. They no, didn't have much, there was not much competition. And no, 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 but, but, I, it's, but I wasn't talking about it, the film being number yeah. one on Netflix for that week. What I'm talking yeah. about is the amount of people that actually viewed and watched the film. So no, it was about it, it, say it was we, number we, 10, but a million it, people watched it. We, That's we, still a million people that have watched no, the film. We haven't got... It didn't say that people watched it all the way through. It said people start watching it. A million could... Oh, I didn't know. Half I didn't a million know. could have turned off after 10 minutes. You know, what? Pianchi, 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 you know what, yeah. Pianchi is right, he's correct with that. That can happen. They could watch it like five minutes, even five minutes, and then stop watching it. Yeah. But or, actually, or five factually, minutes and go to the toilet. Wait, wait, and no, me not done, me not done, me not done. <laughs> factually, it is a success. It yeah. is a success. And these type of movies have been a success, like at the box office. So to pretend because you don't like it, that it's not a success, is disingenuous. It's a success, no matter if you like it or not. That is a fact. Whether it was a success or not, I think the film overall... Uh, was was a pile of garbage. Huh? What did you say? Okay, <laughs> whether, no. it was, whether it was a success or not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to send him that film for Christmas <laughs> in a DVD. <laughs> you know what? There's so many people unemployed and somebody got paid to write that garbage. I mean, I was kind of baffled how somebody got away with that. And yeah, you know what? The crew and workers got to work. They earn their money. No, to go back at you, it's just like, when I'm watching that genre, obviously you expect some far-fetched elements. 
But out of all of the films that I've seen in that genre, that has to be the worst. And the worst thing about it, that director had done a similar film like that last year. And even then, that film was better than this one. How can a director a year later get worse? I've got to say, it was an old plot, good casting, to a point, but you have to appreciate the luminous near long. She almost single-handedly made this ludicrous plot credible, I suppose. Um, Omar Epps wasn't bad as the antagonist. Stephen Bishop, who played the on-screen husband of Nia, wasn't great. Um, Aubrey Cleland's role was limited. Maya, who played Nia's best friend, Courtney's character, was so formulaic. As a whole, the story has been done so many times and so many similar ways. And for me, this was no different. A predictable uh, and cliched film, which basically had me yawning at the screen. I almost wished it was a comedy. Finally, guys, we need to know, what kind of rating are you giving it? Ladies love, how many stars out of five? Um, so I would give this two and a half stars speaking about it, actually. And um, the half is for Nia Long, my um, future wife. So, yes. I'm going to give it two stars. And that is probably, I mean, she, yeah, that, that is just because Nia Long's in the film. You know what? Because this film captivated my imagination, I have to give this one star. There was one scene in it that, you know what, I thought was quite intriguing, where there was an entanglement, as the new word is. But beyond that, the film was, oh, yeah, rewrite. Way, it's not sounding good for this film. And I've got to agree with you guys. Um, Andre, I think you were being too kind, you know. For me, it gets a star. So this week, like I said at the beginning, it's been fatal. Not for us, but for the film. If you guys want to go watch it, let us know what you think in the comments. It'll be sick to hear your views and what you think about this film. Next week, I'm sure we will have a very interesting film. I'm praying so anyway, because I don't want to be trying to stick matches in between my eyelids to keep them awake while watching. Sean, P, ladies love, keep it real, boys. Thank you so much, everyone. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us on the socials. It's been real. Peace.